Martin Sherrington, and I'm going to show you how to move your circles from, for instance, a profile to a page now that you can't share circles on Google+. Or you might want to give somebody uh, a list which is effectively like passing them a circle for them to add into their profile. And it's going to be the same sort of process. Well, let's begin. Let's have a quick look at circles. I'm going to choose, it's going to be my circle of awesomeness that I've got there. But as you see, if I want to share that, it's not got a share button on it anymore. So I'm going to have to go to Circloscope. And that's the first step. And I'm going to choose that circle. And then I'm going to export the Google IDs. And then I'm going to move it across to this page. But let's just do the first step first. So go to Circloscope, go to the dashboard, go to my circles, choose the name of the circle, and then go to Select and Select All, then go to Action, and then go Export to Text File. And I've got to choose the fields. All I need is the ID. So just choose ID from that list, click OK, and the name is circle export and it's May 15 today. Okay, so click save, that will drop it down. Now, next, I'm going to go to Drive and I'm going to drag and drop the file into Drive because I need to get a list of those IDs. And this is one way to do it, which if you double click it, you could do it that way as well. But I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to into Drive, so I've got it saved for later if I needed to. And we have it there. And once it comes up, where was it there? It's disappeared again. Okay, I'll click on it here. You can see it up here. And that should open it there. And what I'm going to have to do, though, is open with a Google Sheet, because it doesn't seem a user-friendly way on just a CSV file when it's opened there. And I'm going to select select the whole column just by clicking at the top and then go edit copy then I'm going to return to Circloscope so I've now got the IDs but I need to switch to the page now it depends on the nature of the account you've got you might have to upgrade to a pro account to do this and you will have to link to the page if you do that but it's all it's just a couple of clicks away but if you click then on where you want to move it to and it will load up that data. So that's the Plus Your Life page. And then go to Dashboard. Go back down and this time go to Import Emails Google Plus IDs. And then drop in the IDs there that you've just cut and paste. Well, you've just cut and you just copied and then you cut it. You know what I'm saying. You can, you can paste them in. Click OK. And that will bring them all up there. And then go Select select all and then go action circle and i'm actually going to add these to a new circle so i'll go um, imported from ms account actually and that's still not going to be existing so i need to put the next field down so ms account imported there you go same thing and click ok and I, none of those are blacklisted because I know that they're all safe. So I'll just click on OK there. And then, all being well, when I come across to Plus Your Life, if I go to People, which is where the circles are, and we'll see whether a new circle has just been created. My circle's there. Scrolling down, there you go. Just imported the contacts from my profile and moved them across into a page. That's it. And if you wanted to, you could just give somebody the list and they could add those into their own account. Hopefully you found that useful. This is Martin Shumpton. Please subscribe to the Plus Your Business YouTube channel for a load more handy hints, tips and tricks about Google Plus, marketing and business connecting the dots. Take care. See you soon.